Hi, I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, and welcome to another episode of Toy Talk, where I talk about the history of the manufacturers of the real equipment, or about the real equipment and what it was used for, and occasionally both, like today. Today I want to talk about the Panama Canal and the steam shovels that dug the canal. Founded as Bruceiris Foundry and Manufacturing Company in Bruceiris, Ohio, in 1880 as a surface and underground mining equipment company, Bruceiris played a major role in supplying removal and mining equipment. But the most historical achievements of the Bruceiris Company was being involved in the digging of the Panama Canal. Bruceiris was an early producer of steam shovels. From 1880 until 1927, Bruceiris operated from its Bruceiris, Ohio headquarters and manufacturing facility. In 1893, Bruceiris moved its operations to South Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Bruceiris merged with the Erie Steam Shovel Company in 1927. The Erie Steam Shovel Company was the country's leading manufacturer of small excavators at the time. The merger formed the Bruceiris Erie Company. In 1930, Bruceiris Erie joined with the English firm of Ruston and Hornsby Limited, Lincoln, England, to form the Ruston Bruceiris Limited firm in England. Having started in 1874, Ruston and Hornsby Limited were the preeminent manufacturers of steam excavators. This merger gave the Bruceiris access to previously unavailable world markets. The Bruceiris name remained until Bruceiris was purchased by Caterpillar Inc. in 1997. The name was changed to Bruceiris International. Caterpillar's interest in acquiring Bruceiris was the Bruceiris product line, which included a wide range of material removal and material handling products used in both surface and underground mining. I found this last part of the purchase most interesting. The intellectual property rights for Bruceiris Erie Cranes was acquired by the Sparrows Group, who today have a crane manufacturing based in Houston, Texas, and still supply spare parts for the older Bruceiris Erie Cranes. The Toy Farmer and the Toy Trucker in Contractor Magazines had created for sale a highly detailed replica of the Bruceiris steam shovel mounted on a rail car platform. The one that they modeled was used in digging of the Panama Canal, and there is a very limited number of them left. Now to a brief history of the giant Bruceiris steam shovel at work in Panama. The canal was started by the French but the French failed in their attempt at digging the canal. After a lot of political maneuvering, it became America's turn. The year was 1904. America's engineers had a different approach to digging the canal than the French had tried. American engineers employed rail cars and mounted on the cars were front-facing steam-powered shovels. Of the 102 steam shovels employed on the canal project, Bruceiris supplied 77 of the steam shovels used to dig the Panama Canal. The shovels Bruceiris sent to Panama were 95 ton models with five cubic yard buckets that could move approximately eight tons of material at once. That was a lot of material to move with one scoop in 1904. Similar to the operation of steam locomotives, which usually had a crew of two, the steam shovels had a larger crew of four to operate the shovel. The crew was headed by an engineer. There were two firemen who stoked the boiler with coal. A craneman to operate the shovel, plus a support crew of six men on the ground to lay rail roadbed on which the shovel moved. 
confined to rails. The giant shovels loaded empty rail cars, which were parked beside the shovels. The ongoing process of shovel, swivel, dump, then swivel back. <laughs> well, you get the picture. Moved the mountains of earth and rock. The steam shovels moved relentlessly, slowly forward, and the giant Bersiris shovels dug the Panama Canal. At last, a shipping route connecting the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean was completed. I will talk a little more on the canal project later, but for now let's take a look at the Toy Trucker and Contractor and the Toy Farmer magazine's highly detailed replica of the Bursiris steam shovel mounted on a rail car platform. The steam shovel that conquered the jungles of Panama and dug the Panama Canal. There is a very limited number left. I am leaving a link below so you can order one direct from the toy farmer. This link will go dead when there are no longer available. And here we go, guys. This is the Bersiris steam shovel that was used to help build the Panama Canal. This is the model that was made by the Toy Trucker and Contractor magazine for just to show off some of the really cool construction stuff that had been made. It is overall, it is 16 inches long, five and a quarter inches wide and over eight inches tall. It has many functional parts, including opening doors and the outriggers work. They will fold out and then they've got some blocks of wood that you could put them on and stabilize the machine. It has free rolling wheels on the trucks. It also supposedly has a forward and reverse gear, raising and lowering of the dipper. There is left and right swing action of the boom. So this thing has great functionality. The door panels open as well. On the sides they slide, the windows fold up, and the coal area, it actually will open up so that you could have where the coal platform is at the back of the boiler. It has functional winches that use chains and rope to operate the functions of the steam shovel. There's also a removable hitch that's engineered to look and function like the original. Really, really cool. And this is in 148 scale, so it is true O gauge. It is an all metal construction with a few teeny tiny plastic parts on it so that it is a very durable, durable model. It has a removable house, a removable mast strap and smokestack. It has gear driven pistons, a hinged coal door and platform. There's also a very detailed interior, including nickel plated boiler and piping. And guys, this model weighs over three pounds. So it is a very, very heavy model. It also comes with this piece of track that, to set it on so that you can either put it on your layout like that, or you have a piece of track to set it on on your shelves. That's a great, great feature. When Toy Trucker wanted to have this thing made, they went and had it very, very meticulously made. It is one of the finest O-gauge models that I have ever seen. Very functional and you really, really have to see this thing in order to see it work. Gears, everything inside, it is just plain amazing. It has forward and reverse gears, so it works. The bucket dumps, well, the trap door on the front shovel will uh, drop open so that you could unload it very functional model. I, I highly recommend anybody looking at these models to go on and get one. I know you will not be disappointed at all of the detail that was put into this thing. Just watching it go around on this turntable, you can just see all of the detail, the fine craftsmanship that went into this model. It's an expensive model, but if understanding O-Gage, most most trains in O gauge are very expensive, so don't be shocked by the price. It it's well worth the price. In fact, it's worth more than the price. I uh, 
I just can't imagine seeing models like this for this price, the detail and everything. So please use the link down below and get one of these for your collection today. I always enjoy reviewing a high quality replica and I especially enjoyed reviewing the Toy Trucker and Contractors Bruceiris Railroad Steam Shovel. I found it is a superb replica of a historic piece of American history. As a serious collector myself, I would recommend you buying the unique Bruceiris Railcar Steam Shovel to add to your collection. Remember, it is the unique replica no matter what scale or if the replica fits with your collection that makes your collection stand out from all the other collections your friends might have. The actual construction of the canal began in 1881 by France, but there were many engineering problems and too many people were dying due to disease. So construction stopped until the United States took over the project in 1904. It took 10 years for the Bruceiris steam shovels to dig and complete the 48 mile long Panama Canal. I hope you enjoyed the video. Use the link below and go buy one of these fantastic models to add to your collection as you will totally regret not getting one of these when they are no longer available. Thanks for watching everyone. Please go on and smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.